Hi everyone. As I'm recording this, it's actually getting rather late, so it's going to be good that this is a nice short lesson to wrap up 6.5, or chapter 6 of Cynthia Shelmerdine's text. We're talking about the negatives u and me, so with four separate Greek characters, this can only take so long. But the good news is, is that both of these simply translate as not. So you say, okay, great, our work here is done. We've got two different options. Well, not quite so fast. U, as we're going to find out, tends to be used with the indicative. So I was not stopping, I will not stop, I did not stop, I am not stopping. All of those forms that we've found so far with the infin uh sorry, not the infinitive, uh, but rather the indicative we're, we're used to working with at this point. May is going to work in, with, in some different contexts, both the imperative, which we'll learn in a little while, but now important here, you're going to see may with the infinitive. So I want... So let, let's come up with two different similar sentences, but with different meanings. Uk thelo, which means I am not wanting, I am currently not in the desiring business of, um, let's see, honoring the muses. There are poen tas musas. Good. We could also keeping that therapeuane tasmiosa. So this is, I'm not currently desiring to sacrifice the muses, but if we want to say, I, I do have a desire, I'm sick of these muses, I really want to not sacrifice to the muses. Ethelo, I am actively wanting not to sacrifice to the muses, in that case maybe, uh, but to party it up with the soldiers. I don't know what the context is, but the point being, may here is being paired with therapeuen, the infinitive, where uk is being paired with this indicative form of Othello. So uk is what we're going to see all the time as we have already. We're gonna find may preceding these infinitives constantly in our examples. I did say preceding, and I mean it. And I mean that for both uk and may. These things tend to, go, well, that's a, I mean it, but I can't write it. I'm gonna to need to put this in the all caps here. Preceding. These negative particles, these adverbs, are very important. <laughs> it's really important to know whether you want to do something or not do something. You can't put these at the end of the sentence, and there's no way to tie them to what you're doing. So to tie them, we do what our English trick is with subject, verb, direct, object. We always put the negative right before the verb that it's negating in Greek. That's always going to be happening, with some exceptions. There might be post-positive particles, little things that can slide in there, but nothing big. These things are connected. Uk Othello me therapeuen. We're under four minutes, that's fantastic. Let's keep that up.